Hey guys, it's Sarah and I'm back again with another spinning video. This time we are talking about support spindling and this is my Malcolm Fielding Dervish. Um, it's very fast, it's very nice, it has a nice thin flicking tip and it has a nice metal point which makes it really easy to spin with. So just a word about fiber prep. Um, this is the fiber that I'm going to be spinning with. Uh, it's a merino top that was dyed in a neon rainbow. And when I spin supported, I generally spin from the fold. So I just fold a staple length right over my finger and spin right off the tip. You can see here that I've got a little loop of fiber that I'm going to be attaching to my spindle. But this is what it looks like before I prepped it. It's very compacted. It's very tight. Um, it's not at all a pleasure to draft um, so it does require a little fiber prep so that said when you are spinning supported you're mainly spinning long draw and fiber preparation is very important when spinning long draw if you have junk in your fiber or if you have junky fiber um, where it's not well prepped or it has little particles in it or little pieces of VM in it, whatever. Junk going in is junk coming out. So you want to make sure that you have nice good fiber. I'm totally breaking that rule for this. This is not nice good fiber. Um, but it's what I have right now. It's what was on the spindle and you guys get to see it. So. Here we go. Right now, I'm not even going to attach my fiber to my spindle. I'm just going to spin for you. And I wanted to show you where I spin from, how I do it. Um, kind of a upside down backwards angle for right now. I will flip the camera around and have it over my shoulder uh, so you can see what it would look like if my arms were your arms. Um, but here we go. So. We have our spindle, and I put the tip of the spindle in this crease of my knuckle, and I spin from knuckle to first fingertip. That's it. And then I put my thumb down to my middle finger to catch the spindle to let it spin. That's it. It's just a roll. And putting your thumb and your middle finger together is fairly natural because your middle finger is already there. Uh, and because you're rolling down your first finger, it gets that finger out of the way to be able to catch. And it doesn't matter if you don't catch or if you just want to keep spinning this way. Um, if you want to spin it really hard and build up a whole bunch of twists, and then stop and draft out, you can do that. Um, even when I was a baby support spindler, I never did that kind of park and draft where you built up a whole bunch of twist and then pinched and pulled and pinched and pulled. And I, it just, it was too confusing for me. So I never did it. Uh, this is how I spin. So we're going to overlay this so our fibers grab and just unlock it a little bit and there we go. And spin, draft, spin, draft, spin, draft. And that's it. It's really quite simple. Give it one extra flick and wind it on. Spin and draft. And once you get used to drafting against the tip of the spindle in a long draw sort of fashion, it goes really quickly. Uh, I am not really a flegal style spinner where you do it continuously like this. Um, it doesn't really work for me. Uh, I don't know if it's because I'm so comfortable with the way I flick it, but I'm more comfortable not drafting against my fingers. I'm more comfortable drafting against the 
spindle shaft and I generally, with well-prepared fiber, get a pretty consistent single. And you can uh, double draft if you need to. So like if you find a spot that's super extra slubby, you just untwist a little bit uh, on your single, get it to where you want it, add a little extra twist into the single, and then wind it on. It's pretty simple. Um, so, now that I've done that, I'm going to come around and try <laughs> to get this at an angle where you guys can see it as a first person. And so, here we go. I'm going to take one second and zoom in just on my flicking hand. All this time I'm drafting and spinning. Now to wind on you just turn it a little bit the other way it's really easy and spin it doesn't have to be a violent action it can be very simple to get your spindle spinning you don't have to put all of your force behind it in order to make the spindle spin um, I blunted a few of my wooden tipped spindles by putting a ton of force in my spin and I would actually pick up my spindle and drop it on the bowl because I was flicking so hard. Um, whoa. Sort of like that. Um, so I prefer metal tip spindles just because I'm not going to blunt them, really. Uh, if I decide to get a little extra vigorous in my spins. Um, Let me go ahead and pause this and kind of get a lower angle for you guys. All right, so here we are. I'm hoping this is going to work. I don't know for sure that it's going to work because it is really far away from me. Like I said, it's really far away from me. So let me pause it again and see if I can get a better setup. All right, here we go again. Alright, so I'm really trying. Let's do it this way. That's a little better.
And I'm going to do one last shot for you directly overhead. And that will be it for this video. Alright, and here we have our final shot directly overhead. There we go. Those are actually my tripod feet that are showing now. It doesn't matter if you tilt the spindle towards you, away from you, uh, keep it straight up and down, tilt it toward your single. You just have to find what works for you and keep practicing it. Again, this is what works for me. Uh, your mileage may vary. Uh, as with all spinning, it is very personal and individual, you know, so what works for one person doesn't work for another. And then there's a third and fifth and fiftieth iteration of all doing the same thing. So this is my way. That doesn't mean it's the right way or the wrong way. It's just my way. Um, if you guys have any other questions, want any other angles of this video shot, want a different video uh, of a different type of spinning technique, please let me know and I will be more than happy to oblige. See you guys later. Bye!